Earlier this week, a jury found Stephen Wiggins guilty on all counts of killing and mutilating the body of Dixon County Sergeant Daniel Baker. The jury reconvened today for the sentencing portion of the trial. They heard from several witnesses, but News Channel 5's Chris Davis reports the most impactful plea came from Baker's widow. Any picture of what I had hoped my life, our life to be, is now gone. The family of Sergeant Daniel Baker is clinging to the memories and pictures they have left. He was honorable, true, and I love with all your heart kind of guy. His family provided News Channel 5 with snapshots of the two-year-old Daniel Baker in 1988 already with a police helmet on his head. He would go on to join the Dixon County Sheriff's Office only to be shot and killed in the line of duty in 2018. I've had three long, three long years to grieve and understand that no matter what is said, nothing will bring him back to me. A jury found Stephen Wiggins guilty of killing Baker and then mutilating his body. The same 11 men and women from Knox County are now asked to seal his fate, either a lifetime behind bars or the death penalty. Daniel Baker's widow, Lisa, wants Wiggins to reap what he's sown. I'm prepared to spend the rest of my life making sure yours, Stephen Wiggins, is miserable. However long that may take, you better believe I'm strong enough and I'm not going anywhere. Baker also leaves behind a young daughter, Meredith. When her father was killed, she was about his age in these cherished family pictures. That he will never be here to hold her, to kiss her, to watch her grow, to offer fatherly advice, to walk her down the aisle, to meet his grandchildren, to do any of the things that a father would, could, and or should be here to do. Court will resume Monday morning at 9 a.m. where the defense will give their opening statement in the sentencing portion of this trial and then call multiple witnesses. This process could still take several days. Reporting in Dixon County, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Chris, thank you. And in order to sentence Stephen Wiggins to death, the jury will have to reach a unanimous verdict.